Thanks to a developing story in Austin, Texas is a step closer to getting rid of concealed carry permits. The state license is currently required if people want to carry a handgun in public. Supporters call the bill common sense, while others say it is anything but. Jonathan Pulasic has spent the day getting familiar with this bill. Jonathan, tell us more. Good evening, Tatum. It's House Bill 1927, and it's actually co-authored by one of our local state representatives in Brooks Landgraf. Now, the bill is now heading to the Texas Senate, and, you know, as this bill moves a step closer to being reality, people on both sides of the issue are speaking out. No handgun license, no training, no problem if House Bill 1927 becomes law, though some men and women of the law see a big problem with it. Current licensing requirements that ensure gun owners know and understand applicable laws and safe gun handling techniques and storage enhances the safety of all Texans. Gun owners have a duty to ensure that their firearms are handled safely and a duty to know applicable laws. The licensing process is the best way to ensure this message is conveyed. But Texas reps in support of the bill believe that if people use common sense, there shouldn't be any problems. This bill should be called common sense carry because this bill is about common law-abiding citizens being able to carry commonly owned handguns in common public places for the common reason of personal and family protection. Opponents say this won't make anyone or anywhere any safer. They argue it'll actually be the opposite. I'm so tired of catering to a very small number of very loud people whose thinking about guns is wrapped up in unfounded fears and bizarre conspiracy theories. I'm so tired of the gun being worshiped like some golden calf and hearing all about rights, but nothing about responsibilities. Responsibility for where the bill goes from here is now in the hands of the Texas Senate. Now, even if this bill were to pass, this does not mean that carriers are free to bring their guns everywhere. For example, if a business owner, if they verbally tell a customer that you cannot bring a gun in here, well, then they cannot bring a gun in here. I, I will say, though, that signs are no longer enough. Uh, other, other areas where guns will still be prohibited include, you know, uh, just a couple of uh, examples, correctional facilities, civil commitment facilities, and amusement parks. Again, that's just to name a few. Reporting live in Midland, Jonathan Pulasic, News West 9.